boys and girls welcome to my channel hi i'm for classic and welcome to bench chart so for today what i do have in here is twin mirror running on the gt 740m which is the same gpu as the gt 825m or the gt 920m so twin mirror it is developed by the don't nod entertainment the same developers behind the life is strange tell me why vampire and remember me and it is using Unreal Engine 4. So instead of taking approach comparable to Vampire or Remember Me, uh, this game, Twin Mirror, it is more in line with Life is Strange and Remember Me. So it's a story-based game. And since I'm an idiot, I forgot to record in here the graphic settings that I did use on, on, in the game. So yeah, if you want to check out the graphic settings that I did use, it is on the description of the video on the link there to the Google Drive. Anyway, these are the requirements of the game and you can clearly see that we are below the minimums since the game asks for a minimum of a GTX 750 and well, we have a GT 740M, so we are below of it. And so at 720p low settings without using any trick, uh, what I got, it was a, a super experience with 96% of the time being lower than 30 frames per second. So the game just ranged between 15 frames per second and around 30. So it's a, it was an uneven experience. But after going to the config file of the game and applying resolution scaling, the game spent most of its time above 30 frames per second and only around 20% of the time was lower than 30 frames per second. So it got so much more playable so in case you want to do this config you just need to go to the description of the video that is uh, a quick explanation there what you need to change and choose the, the desired resolution scaling that you want and that's about it because most of the games nowadays contains resolution scaling options but unfortunately this game doesn't contain those options on the graphics menu so you need to go to the config file and uh, choose what you want from there so regarding performance, I mean, it's acceptable. This is a story-driven game. You are not going to spend most of your time shooting or anything like it. So I think 30 frames per second, it is more than enough for this game. And even having its share of drops below of 30 frames per second, it is fine. Despite also this game have more interactive moments than Life is Strange adds. Uh, I still think that it is super playable nonetheless with its limitations. Yes, it's 720p low settings. Yes, we are using resolution scaling. Yes, we are using low settings and yes, it does drop below 30 frames per second. So it's not perfect, but it is super playable. And the intents and purposes of these games, aside from playing, it is to tell a story. And you can actually go from beginning to the end with this graphic card. Now, one of the downsides that I've noticed when using this card is that every time you start in a new environment, the game takes a lot of time to build its assets. So it's normal that at the first minute or two minutes, your textures will look super blurry. The game will start to stutter all over the time, all over the place, I mean. But after one or two minutes, the game will get back to its playable moments. Textures will be fully loaded nonetheless, despite, yes, it's low settings, they don't look really good. But uh, before they load the textures, it is simply horrible. So you just sometimes you just need to wait like 30 seconds, one minute for stuff to load. As you can see, some trees in there took a while to load. So it's, it's some small thing, all right? Aside from that, the game it is super playable and we are playing on a GPU that was never meant to play games, especially in 2010-20, I mean, at the end of 2020. So I guess... Performance-wise, it is this. It is playable, all right? And I do recommend performance-wise. But, I mean, what about the game? So what can I say about Twin Mirror? I'm just going to talk based on community reviews and critics and also based on two hours I have played the game. Since the game it is developed by Don't Nod, you know the type of experience that you can expect from this game. Something like Life is Strange or the most recent titles like Tell Me Why. So it's the same type of gameplay. You just talk to the characters, make decisions, and the decisions will somewhat affect your playthrough or the ending. But the thing is, this game and its story, according to the community, it isn't really compelling. Especially the main character, they say that... Uh, it isn't really interesting and the backstory resembles a cheap TV show. Cheap. 
there are some new elements into this game which are quite nice, like running away uh, of uh, a trez in a control-ish environment from a guy trying to avoid obstacles subway surfer style. And also we got new elements uh, from Sherlock Holmes games where we collect pieces of evidences and then we need to pull all the stuff together in the correct order so we can advance. It's nothing new at all, other games have done this, but it's still nice to see more and more stuff being added to the Don't Not games aside from just see the story and make decisions. You can expect this game to be completed in about 6 hours. And as for the story, the description page of the game kinda sums it up quite well, so I would just read what's written in there. Sam X was done with Basswood, West Virginia, but it seems it wasn't done with him. When the former investigative journalist returns to its hometown to say a final farewell to his best friend, it soon becomes clear that there are more chapters to be written in its troubled story. Forced to confront his past, Sam finds himself torn between uh, reconnecting with his loved ones and using his unique intellectual abilities to uncover the town's dark secrets. But how do you know who to trust when you sure when you are not even sure you can trust yourself? Yeah, that's a big problem there. Trusting yourself in this game. The, the award-winning storytelling at Don't Not invites you on another twisting adventure. Well, community, it is not really satisfied with your story, so yeah. Technically-wise, this game it is very well optimized, as you could saw. Any recent GPU included uh, Intel integrated graphic cards can run the game. And like usual, they don't really push the graphics and display the typical Life is Strange 2 or Tell Me Why graphics. So facial animations are mostly the same as the other previous games as well. On Metacritic, the game's score it is 67 from 0 to 100 on 40 reviews by the critics, but the user score it is even worse, so it is 5.5 .5 on average score from 0 to 10. So community, it isn't really satisfied with this game. The game it is also an epic store exclusive by the time of this video and costs about 29.99, so it's not expensive, but given the score that the game have, it is also not very cheap, so if I would guess, I would say that this game will appear on a sale probably more sooner than we expect, or probably on Xbox Game Pass, who knows. So guys, I think that's all that I want to talk about Twin Mirror, hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. This is Anna, she works freelance, uh, does a lot of the human interest pieces. What can I say? I'm interested in humans and their pieces. <laughs> What do you like to write? I gotta run to a review with Walt. You two feel free to chit chat. And Sam, be nice. I had never met someone so interested in others, even in me. The story is important. You know I think that. It's just. People around here have short tempers and long memories. Be careful. Sam, are you even listening to me? I heard you, Anna. But no, I wasn't listening. Come on, Anna, look at this. <laughs> what is it? Someone skinny dipping? Anna, you really need to see this. I can't even see. Something's blocking it. Sam, what are you doing? I'm trying to be romantic. What? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. Down on one knee, a ring? What else would I be doing? You look like I just ran over your grandma. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, please say something. 
Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. You should know that. We've discussed it before. We weren't happy. She was the one brave enough to face that. Lost in my head again. How much time did I miss? I missed the funeral. Maybe it's for the best. On the bright side, Nick's not alive for me to let him down again. Sorry, Walter, but I don't think I'll stick around. Given up already? Just a quick, depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. And you might be right. But it's been two years. It's time to face the world. Time to adult. The good news, though, at least you don't have to do it alone.